folks, welcome to Calvin's Got Game. Today I'm continuing on my series of games that start with a certain letter of the alphabet, and we are on Q today. I know it's been a while since I posted a video. Work just really gets in the way of me having fun posting these videos and playing board games. But I'm trying to balance that out. We're trying to keep it going. So before I get to the Q games that I have, because we're on Q, uh, I want to talk about the last video with the folks who, what games they thought they liked, or what games they really liked playing that start with the letter P. But before I do that, I want to say um, congratulations to a couple of folks that were that are in my game group. Uh, don't get to play with them as much anymore because they kind of moved away. Uh, but Josh and Erica, uh, two people that were in my game group, uh, they met in my game group. I'm not saying I'm responsible for them uh, dating and falling in love, but they are getting married very soon, and I just want to wish them uh, a happy life and tell them congratulations. Guys, I'm so happy for you. I, I feel like quoting from Michael Scott, uh, it's like all my kids are growing up and marrying each other. You know, Michael Scott in that episode of The Office. But anyway, Josh and Erica, congratulations, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful life. And of course, we'll see each other again, and we'll play more games, I bet. All right, so let's talk about the games that you guys liked uh, that start with the letter P from the last video. Uh, Mark Patuka likes Patchwork, which if you, haven't, if you don't know what Patchwork is, don't know where you're at, you're building this quilt thing, collecting buttons and... And there's a drafting mechanism of putting these uh, poly, uh, I don't know what you call it. It's like a Tetris style pieces. I don't know what they're called. Uh, but then he also uh, liked Pioneer Days, which is on my radar uh, to pick up at some point. I think I would enjoy that game. Not, not real sure, but I think I would. And then Ludwig Misses has uh, the game that they like is Passing Through Petra. Never heard of this game. It's a Euro game. Uh, you're trading in the ancient town of Petra. So if you're into that, you know, collecting resources, turning resources in for something else, it's a Euro style game. So if you like those, maybe check out Passing Through Petra. And then Josh, the guy that's getting married, Erica, likes Planet Unknown. This is another game that's on my radar. I haven't necessarily uh, played it yet, but I want to. I love the whole um, Lazy Susan aspect in the middle of the, of the table. With the polyomino pieces. That's what it's called, polyomino. Someday I'll get it. And you place those on your board and you're discovering the planet and there's things that you can get when you do that. That's a game I think I really would enjoy. And then Aaron Nunley likes Pipeline. He did say that Pandemic was one of his favorites that, that was on my list, but uh, said that Pipeline was one that he really enjoys. I've seen Pipeline played, never played it. Kind of looks like something I would enjoy as well. You're building a pipeline of uh, of certain colors connecting uh, things so everything can flow through. So if one of those P games, the uh, games that start with the letter P, uh, interest you, go check them out. All right, let's get to my short video. Guys, I got three, three this this week, or this, this video, that start with the letter Q. So here we go. My number three is Quix. Quix Deluxe, as a matter of fact. Because Quix Deluxe, instead of using the score pads, you have erasable sheets, which I are erase, erasable cards, which I thought was much better. The dice are chunkier, really big. So if you're gonna buy one, buy Quicks Deluxe. And Quicks Deluxe is a roll and write game. You're trying. You can't put certain colors together or numbers. No, in this one, sorry. In this one, you're you've got lines, right? And you have a line that goes from 1 to, I think, 12, and then from 12 to 1 on certain colors. you got different colored dice. Red, uh, I think green, yellow, blue maybe. I don't really remember. I got it over here on the shelf. Hadn't played it in a little while, but it's one of my games that me and my wife just really played a lot. Um, and so when you cross out a number of a certain color, you can never go... So if you're going from 1 to 12 and you cross off a 7... You can't cross off six, five, four, three, one ever again. So you want to make sure that you're trying to get the lowest number in certain color columns or the highest number in the other columns uh, on those colored dice to check things off. It's an interesting game. I really like it. Me and my wife have really enjoyed it. And game, it's by Game Right. So Game Right makes a, a, a lot of great little games, but that one really hit the table for us a lot. 
And then there's Queen's Ransom. That's my number two, Queen's Ransom. Uh, Queen's Ransom is a deduction game. You have locations face down on the board, and you have people face down on the board. So you're trying to figure out who kidnapped the queen and where she's at. And so you can, you have cards in your hand to where you can play. You can look at certain cards in the middle. There's cards that switch them around. You can switch locations around or people around. And so you keep people guessing. But when you think you know uh, who has it, you're looking at, um, I don't think the locations and the people are, it's cards in front of them that, that give point values. And whoever has the most points is the person who did that. And I think the most points would be one or two. Um, so, I mean, two or three is the most points that they have. So whoever has the two or the three, I'm really not explaining this game great, but it's a great deduction game. You're trying to deduce who is who has the queen and where are they hiding her by looking at these numbered cards on either side of them. There's two on each card. So... Uh, it may have a zero on the card. It may have a one. It may have a two. So the person may have a two on it and you're okay. This is probably the person who is it. Or there may be another person who has a two and a one on the other side. They may be the one that does. So you have to kind of figure out when you want to make that uh, decision. So uh, if you're wrong, you're out of the game. And if you're right, you win the game. So Queen's Ransom, it's a great little deduction game, just a small deck of cards, but a lot of fun. And it's an older game by Z-Man Games. Uh, really enjoy it. That's my number two, Queen's Ransom. My number one is Quest of Valeria. In Quest of Valeria, you're a guild master. You're completing quest that's posted in the tavern. And what you do uh, is you hire citizens to help you complete these quests and the, the, the resources are on the card. So if you have the resources, you can complete certain quests or uh, hire certain citizens. And all you have to do is get five quests completed. And when that's done, it triggers the end of the game. And then whoever has the most victory points after that is the winner. Guys, that's my games that start with the letter Q. I want to know what are some of the games that you like that start with the letter Q, if you have any. I sure would like to hear it. Guys, I thank you so much for watching. And once again, I want to say congratulations to Josh and Erica on their upcoming wedding, uh, which I will be attending. Uh, can't wait to do that. I think their wedding is board game theme, if nothing else. I know their shower was, so um, I think their wedding is going to be the same. So guys, as I always say, get a board game to the table. Spend time with your friends and family, and I thank you for watching Calvin's Got Game. <laughs>